Good morning all, the Devious Monkey here. It is Friday morning. If you can't tell, it's sunny. It's 52 degrees already. It's supposed to go up into the mid 60s again today. Even if it didn't get a degree warmer, I'm happy with it because it's sunny. And my report for you, I did in fact do every single thing I needed to do to catch up yesterday. It was torture and I sat there, but I got it done at 5.30. So I did four weeks worth of updates over the day yesterday and I'm all caught up. And I feel like I got a giant weight lifted off my shoulders because that was horrible. And I will never let that happen again because that was bad monkey stuff. So today I am going to enjoy a little bit of the outdoors, but not until later this afternoon because this morning I will be going to meet my accountant to give her our tax paperwork so that we can get our taxes done. So I gotta meet her, uh, I don't know, in like an hour and a half, but I'm gonna run some errands in the meantime as I make my way there to meet her. And that's pretty much it. I am going to finagle a little bit more with this setup here, just because of the fact that uh, since I have it, again, center mounted on the front, what's happening is the camera's moving left and right because it's mounted in the center. All right, so I just dropped off my paperwork to the accountant. I have, in the meantime, I have torn this apart, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do since I was sitting around waiting. And so now I don't have anywhere to mount it on the, on the center of the dashboard, so it's back on the monopod, which again, isn't bad. It's just sometimes it's annoying when this gets all blown out and it makes me really dark. The temperature's already up to 60. Okay, kids, before I take off here, I'm gonna show you what I did. Completely redid the inside here with how I mount this. And I went back to having the ball head on simply because of the fact that it's easier for me to then spin the camera so that I can get the forward view because I wasn't able to get that without having to like basically stop driving, unscrew it, pull it out, turn it around, re remount it and all that kind of stuff. Whereas now I can just do this. I have to move my monkey. So now that's that's completely all set now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off now. I'm gonna show you real quick what I did. So what I got now is I still have the cheese plate on there, but what I did was I sandwiched the cheese plate in between the ball head and a monopod. I had this cheap Opteca monopod that was just laying in the garage. I pulled that out and I screwed that up through one of the holes and into the ball head. So now it's completely sandwiched. I mean, this thing ain't going anywhere. And I have Velcro on here that goes onto Velcro up along the lip up here. So now it's just, it's on there really good. And so far so good. And then it goes down into the cup holder. So it's held in place down in there. It had a spike that protruded down from the bottom so you can, take the spike and screw it all the way up inside the base of the monopod and then take the rubber piece and unscrew it so that now the rubber piece is what's bottoming out, not the spike, since I don't need to have a spike jamming through my freaking cup holder. But now, as you can see, and I am literally like using my hand to shake this and it's, it's barely moving. True test though, now we are going to drive through the shittier part of Virginia Beach here on my way to three ships. It's just water, people. You're gonna live. These people are driving through this as if they're like shooting frickin' acid. It's water. Just go. Right? I think that that's a success. This has not moved even a millimeter. It's on there really well. So time for Bean. Bean has been gotten. Next stop, the library. All right, kids. I say that the Forerunner setup is good to go. Unless something unusual happens and it tips over and smashes my camera setup, I don't see any reason to change it or to even dick around with it anymore. This is what I'm talking about, how I play around and I buy gear and I try stuff out until I get to a point where I feel like 
it, it's what I wanted. I'm there. I'm there in the studio. I'm there in the Forerunner. I'm here with my perfect filming setup. I got the perfect birding setup. Everything's coming up Millhouse and everything is fantastic and I love it. Now I just need to start shooting better content. And I just decided that I wanted to come here and enjoy the nice day. Because apparently, and I didn't know this and I'm not happy about it, but my wife just told me that it's supposed to snow on Sunday. <laughs> That's messed up, man. Oh, doesn't that just relax your soul? Now, one thing I haven't taken into consideration today because I've been turning the camera on and off so many times and moving it around and doing all these tests. I haven't looked to see that I only have 38% battery life right now at the beginning of this little walk. I would imagine that by the time I get home, I could drain this battery and I did not bring another one. Okay, remember when I walked in and I said, all right, I've got 38% battery life, probably won't make it through 8% battery life left. So yeah, I absolutely killed this battery. So I think it's probably a good idea that I end this right now, Oop, that I trip over a root and then end this right now. It's been a wonderful day. Once I realized that I was hangry and I couldn't figure out how to do the Forerunner setup because nothing was working the way I had envisioned it, I stopped myself, went inside, ate lunch, then went outside and everything just magically came together and I got it all done. And then I decided to come out here and it's always magical here and I always really enjoy it. So that's all I've got for you today. Glad I could bring you along to my favorite place and end this on a nice happy note. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.